We're hanging out at the Dakota Jazz in downtown Minneapolis. Of course, this guy needs no introduction, but I'll give it to him anyway. Grammy-nominated singer, songwriter, producer. Harry Belafonte. <laughs> Icon, <laughs> Brian McKnight. How you doing? Joins us on Mix949.com and McKnight360.com. Yeah. This is something different. It's different. Um, it's new. Um, it's taking a second for people to sort of grasp the concepts of what I'm doing. Basically, um, more than anything, it's a challenge for myself to write something not just to write something new every month and release it every month and shoot a video for that every month, but something that's actually good. I write songs right. all the time. Most of them aren't very good. So it takes three or four songs sometimes to write one that should be on the radio. So the, the challenge here is to make basically what I would do for singles for an entire record monthly. And the problem now I'm facing is I have one that I have to release like Monday or Tuesday, and I'm working on five. You're on a deadline now. I'm on a deadline. Like a serious and, deadline. And I don't know which one to to put out so i i decided to go with something safe i think but i get I, once i get home sunday or monday and i get back in the studio i might change my mind again but that's the beautiful part of it that as i'm doing this people are able to to comment and give me sort of immediate feedback about how they feel about what i'm doing so that i know sort of if i if i miss sort of then i kind of know how to get back to that what i like about mcknight360.com is is we're moving into a time when everybody wants things right now, immediate. Right. Immediately. And that's what's cool about the website and what you're doing because they are getting it right away. They're getting it right away, sort of. I mean, it, there's still some, some forethought that goes into it. That's why I think I'm five or six songs ahead of what I want to do. If I wait, uh, I'm a procrastinator like everybody mm -hmm. else because I have to play golf and do other things. So, you know, it, it's, it's important, though, to be focused on, on and not think about what they want, but just giving them something that's really from oh, my I, heart. I still feel like there's nothing else on this planet. There's other things I would have wanted to do, but this is what I believe I was made to do. And there's some people that say, well, you're just lucky because you had that talent. Well, that's true on one end, but you still have to cultivate that talent. You sure still have you. to be willing to have people hate what you do. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think it's that fear that sometimes holds people back, you know, and I, I just have to put it out. You probably develop gonna, thick skin by now, do. I imagine. You do, because you're not, people aren't going to love everything you do, mm -hmm. um, but you still have to put it out. You still right. have to, you know, figure out. And I think along the way, I figured out what my sound is. I figured out how to distinguish myself. I think that, and I, I mean, I, I hope that when you hear my songs on the radio, you're not saying, well, I wonder who that is. I think that immediately you kind of know yes. that that's a Brian McKnight song. I think I have my signature. Where does this inspiration strike? I mean, do you have to pull the notepad out or you have to sing into something I right away? I haven't written down a lyric since I was 18 years old. Really? There's all, you know, I'm always challenging myself to, if I remember what I'm doing, and I, and I say remember in a very sort of, um, it works kind of like this. I sing songs in my head that haven't been written yet, like other people sing songs on the radio, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. It sure does. So all day, I'm formulating my idea. I'm singing these same lyrics over and over. I have the melodies. And if I remember it, then it's supposed to be recorded. And I think there's probably only been about two or three things I haven't remembered, because I leave myself sort of mental Hansel, mental Hansel and Gretel breadcrumbs to remind myself how to get back. Because when I hear music, I see it in my head. I don't have to be sitting at a keyboard or playing a guitar. So I kind of figure out, and I have a... a Do you hear the melody? I mean, everything? I hear everything at once. And, and the challenge all my life has been to have my hands and my mouth catch up to my brain. And every now and then, like on songs like Back and One and Any Time, it was complete synergy at the same time. I don't come 